Hello and welcome to JW Solo USA. Today is another episode on the Sun GT Grid Tide Inverter Limiter. As you guys seen the past video, we had this inverter tied into a 48 volt battery bank. I was using the, the Power Patrol, the SL, SLA1119 which is the battery uh, model and it's a 12 volt each battery there are four of them and today we're gonna exper experiment the same batteries the SLA1119 on uh, 12 volt 22 amp hours which is a 90 watt each these are high rated uh, uh, battery SLA C lead acid high rated batteries which are flame they, 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 they can't get into flame they said retardant something like that so well you guys can see I'll bring you close to the specs here you can see for yourself and see what I'm talking about here these are the batteries I hope you can see uh, clearly those are the specs right there you can see right there so I have five of them wired in series for 60 volt okay for 60 volt we tried a 40 48 volt the last time so let's let me bring you back to the specs here so you can see the specs of the inverter as you guys can see closely um the specs here it says uh so you can see the grid power is uh, 119 volt and no dc in yet which is going to be acting like solar all right so let's keep the backlight on on this application so that we can able to have lights constantly instead of going on and off all right uh, backlight is set up and uh, it's not going to go off anymore it's on power saving mode but i took it off from there and we're going to be testing the system to see the power we're going to be driving in to do this test as you guys are all curious to see what's going on here so I just want to encourage you guys you can able to use this to your um, battery bank the only thing you gotta be careful and make sure um, you get all the settings right you make sure you read you use the right voltages that's required by the machine then you're gonna be fine don't overload it okay if you underrate it then it's not gonna do the job all right so right now I'm gonna be plugging it to the high current filter I'm gonna use the preamp or I'm gonna use the sub since a subwoofer they always um, take a lot of power so I'm gonna be using it into the sub which is a high current filter or preamp filter so either or I'm gonna be plugging this device into so let's see Plug in this thing right here. Okay, we already have the device on into this, and the device is still on. All right, all right, the device is already on. All right, folks, um, as we test in here. I just want to let you know that the device was rated for 22 to 65 volt which um, you have five batteries supposed to give you 60 volt DC because of that um, the device can only take a 48 volt like I told you guys it's a learning curve and a learning process here we all um, take into consideration I did this test for you guys to see uh, on the uh, first side you see it says voltage too high because it's reading it's not gonna read 12 volt 12 volt 12 volt on each battery so it's gonna be reading uh, a, a full charge battery is supposed to read about 13.6 depend to the batteries so that's what happened the voltage went to about 66 volt 
So instead of 60 volt. So I just want to make this clear. This is why I did this test. You know, I know it's going to go this way, but I just want to show you guys. I don't want a lot of people to do mistakes out there. But let's go back to the test on a 48 volt. And you guys can see I disconnected the fifth battery. So on that corner right there. And we're just going to run the 48 volt. All right. This is the 48 volt. It's reading at... Um, 52.6 volt okay let's see what we can do from here initializing and it's going there we go folks you see that we kick in the power See that, folks? You can hear the fans. It's reading 48. We're maxing up this thing, folks. The system is running. These are the correct numbers you can see right here. At JW Solar USA. And this is the power we're pushing back to the grid. To power the appliances. And you guys can see exactly how this uh, device is working. Okay. Pushing power back to the grid to uh, power up our machines at the home. 973. I think this one gives you a clear understanding and uh, how everything is working. I'll show you here the batteries are doing fine. They're sitting right there. You got all the power thing loaded. So I want you guys to see. And back here on track, we're pushing power back to the grid, folks. We're pushing power to power all the appliances, the freezer, the fridge, and the water dispenser. The house is running. So I just want to make it clear for you guys as a test. That didn't work with the 60 volt. And this is what we're doing right here. Take care, folks. JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.